Montreal has so much to offer, and I think we take it for granted. And we realize as soon as we're away, whenever I'm abroad, uh, there are a lot of things I miss about it. Uh, winter is not one of those things, but you know right away. Um, but I definitely miss Le Mont Royal. I think it's such a gift to have this incredible space in the middle of our city. Uh, this incredible green space, uh, so many paths to you know walk, run, um, you know uh, go biking. Um, you know there's Le Belvedere, there's the uh, there's Beaver Lake, uh, there's the lookout. Chemin Camille Aude was one of my favorite streets to drive on to cross the city. It's no longer going to be the case, but uh, I'll, I'll you know I'll hold on to the nostalgia of it. Um, Cote Neige, Cote Neige, that whole area to me is incredible. I'll tell you why. You'll find everything. Water Plaza Cote Neige, I think I've seen t-shirts for like $2.50. You don't see that anymore. Um, uh, I also love it just because it's so multicultural, multilingual. So Cote Neige is definitely a great place uh, to go hang out uh, and absorb the city in a non-touristic fashion. Uh, La Ronde, I haven't been to La Ronde in probably a decade and I keep talking about going every year and I always get too busy for it and I feel like that's always a place I've been to with my family every year we used to make it our summer event to go to La Ronde once a year have a little family trip to La Ronde from time to time just to live that nostalgia out. Uh, Le Plateau Mont Royal I just love going to Le Plateau Mont Royal cultures and languages mixing in spaces and Le Plateau's becoming that as well. Um, so for me, I think it's fun to go, go see that and see uh, all these different, uh, um, you know, generations of uh, cultures hanging out together. And Le Plateau's like that, and I think NDG's becoming like that as well. So Le Plateau's one of my favorite hangouts. It's fun to get a variety for me. Place des Festivals in the summer is a definite uh, place to go. It's a must. There have been so many stars who've performed there. Stevie Wonder's performed there. The Jacksons have performed there. The best part about it is free. You have the Jazz Festival, the Francofolie, Just for Laughs. Uh, I think Les Nuits d'Afrique has a, a events there as well. So worth it this summer to go out there, you know, go out with your family and spend some time, have some ice cream, watch some free concerts out there. You know, we're lucky to have that in our city. Let's not take it for granted. Let's make sure that we go out and we support uh, local culture and local promoters who bring in culture from uh, outside.